Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to perform the most technical and exploited game engine bug known as strafe jumping in Quake. Strafe jumping has been a staple mechanic throughout the entire Quake series and is fairly simple to learn but near impossible to master. To teach you how to strafe jump, we're going to be using Quake Live for its visual representation of key presses. The first thing you want to do is make sure your speedometer is enabled to give you the best representation of your speed. You will notice that the max running speed is 320 units per second. As you can see, I can only reach the second platform by jumping normally. Before we get started, I want you to get used to jump buffering, which is simply jumping, then while you're in midair, let go of the jump button and press and hold it again. This allows you to jump as soon as you hit the ground without having to time it perfectly. To add to that, hold forward, and every time you hit the ground, hold either the left or right strafe key and slowly turn in the direction of the strafe key you're holding. Every time you land, you should alternate strafe keys and turn in the corresponding direction. Now, to optimize your speed, flick your mouse about 20 degrees off your forward direction, and then slowly start turning again. Every time you hit the ground, you should alternate. I hope this makes at least a little bit of sense, and if it does, it should give you a great advantage over the other new players. I'll see you in the arena.